Man, it's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. I know I'm late on this, but I still want to address this, man, because it bothers me. Sparkle sitting here, man, on the surviving R. Kelly thing. And let me just get one thing clear. R. Kelly is a creep, jerk, pedophile, rapist who definitely deserved to be prosecuted um, to the extent of the law, to every law he broke when dealing with the minors at the age that he was knowingly, knowingly and purposely infecting them with herpes, allegedly, and just the foolish things he do. But at the same time, man, I don't like the lies that's being done out here where some of these ladies sitting up there acting all goody two-shoe like they ain't been shifty and they wasn't dirty and they wasn't doing nothing and participating in this man's actions voluntarily. One person in particular, Sparkles, the singer. You better be careful what you say to me. Right. Didn't have to be careful. You didn't do nothing. Or somebody might say it to you, you better be careful what you do to me. Didn't have to be careful with that. You did it. This girl sitting here, man, and Charlemagne, man, I'm mad at y'all, man. As much as y'all call people out on that BS and trash, when Sparkle came up to that Breakfast Club show, y'all know damn well the evidence that was out on her, uh, uh, Normally sleeping with R. Kelly, man. And that lady sat there and tried to really tell y'all that R. Kelly did her whole album and nothing happened. He just went out of his way, produced her album, wrote her songs, uh, uh, played all her music. She's standing in the studio with him all these days and weeks and nothing happened. When y'all know, y'all saw the interview, a public announcement. Y'all know y'all saw that interview with public announcement telling that Sparkle left her husband for R. Kelly, who was also a member of the group, public announcement. And she was married. She was a married woman who left her husband. The moment she went in the studio with R. Kelly and work on that song, work on her album and never went back home. She stayed with R. Kelly. She had sex with that man. Allegedly, her husband on record saying it. She was messing around with R. Kelly. And y'all know that. Y'all knew that. And y'all let this woman come on there giving this sad story like she didn't touch this man or was with him at all. And she really bitter and hurt because he was just done with her. He was done with her. On to the next. Horrible. Horrible. She's sitting up there acting all goody two shoe. And, 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 and she was just horrible, man. If you listen to her testimony and what she was doing, she was horrible in her testimonies. She knew about R. Kelly's dealings and what he did. And you still decide to introduce your niece to R. Kelly, who you was having sex with also. And the reason why your family not talking to you, because they know your dealings in this situation. And y'all let her get away with that stuff. And she's sitting on there uh, uh, acting as if she ain't did nothing. Like, no, me and Robert relationship was just strictly business. We never did nothing. You was a married man. You was a married woman. You committed adultery. Against your husband, laying down with R. Kelly. You wanted so much to be rich and famous. You just wanted to, not only to be rich and famous, you probably desired and wanted to be with him anyway. He R. Kelly. And at that time, he was young and popping. A lot of women find him attractive. Why would you be any different? You wanted your shot too. You thought you were going to put it on him. He was going to fall in love. Y'all were going to make magic together. And that was going to be your new husband. It didn't work that way. It didn't work that way because he crazy. He did what he did to you, knocking you down. You <laughs> And crazy thing is, he may have put money in your pocket, but you put money back in his pocket. 
get up out of here and you left your husband, you broke your vows, you did all that stuff. You would have made it anyway if you were just faithful and stayed to your craft and took care of your business. You betrayed your husband for him. And then when he was done with you, you trying to uh, 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 bring the man down because you ain't your feelings because he don't want you no more. Yeah. And I'm and, and that's crazy. Y'all, y'all breakfast club, y'all can be so selective. It ain't even funny. Y'all try to call out other people on their stuff, but y'all know. Y'all knew it. Y'all knew she was lying. It's all over y'all faces. And y'all journalists, y'all do the studying and background of the interviews that they do before they even come on, being aware of the what's going on to ask. And y'all really swept that under the rug. Y'all swept that under the rug, man. Y'all swept that under the rug. Charlotte, man, you bogus. Envy, you bogus. And Angela Lee, you bogus too. All three of y'all. Y'all let that slide and y'all knew the truth. Just like, and I know y'all bigger than me. All the stuff people send y'all. If y'all got it, if wait, wait, if I got it, y'all got it. Get up out of here, man. Know you heard them public announcement interviews. I didn't even know she was married to a member of the group of public announcement. And public announcement wasn't even taken up for R. Kelly. They admitted he was a rapist. In fact, that's what they really said. Sparkle husband, who she was married to, y'all. Look up the interview. Public announcement interview on R. Kelly. One of the members in the group was married to Sparkles before they met R. Kelly. That was his wife. They were musicians. They wrote their own songs and everything. He said he caught R. Kelly having sex with Aaliyah on a tour bus. This is Sparkle husband. When he caught R. Kelly on a tour bus, allegedly having sex with Aaliyah while she was under the age, he left, he left, he left the tour immediately and never came back. R. Kelly came and was asking where he at, where he go. And one of the other members from public announcement was like, he said he saw you back there having sex with that young girl, man. And he left. They said R. Kelly was salty from that day. And when Sparkle had came to the studio, because he was, he was going to work on her album, that was his way of like getting revenge on dude. And she never went back home. She never went back home. She went to the studio with R. Kelly and never went back home. The girl forgot she was married. She thought she was going to live it up, have her way. And when he was done with her, she was embarrassed. She was shamed. Horrible. She thought she was going to be the... Uh, Mary J. Blythe, the new queen of R&B. Girl, get up out of here. Horrible. Horrible. That man turned you out. Turned you out. You forgot your religion. Got you all in the video playing like a lesbian. Girl, get up out of here. Then you getting all in front of these cameras trying to want people to feel sorry for you. Lying. Like you wasn't sucking this man off and he was having his way with you. Get up out of here, girl. Horrible. I don't like when they be lying and doing that stuff. Just tell the truth. We know R. Kelly is a monster. We know he a creep. We know he a weirdo. We know something wrong with him. Anytime you want to bend over your own mama, yes, yeah, something is wrong with him. Anytime you having sex with your own family members, something wrong with him. Really, really wrong with him. But you try to make it seem like you 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 too goody too sure you were so smart and so strong you didn't fall for nothing he did you wasn't stupid or goofy like all the other girls no girl get out of here you was worse than all them because you had a husband and you left your husband for R. Kelly you had a sworn vow that you swore before God. And you sold your husband out for cheap sex and a little bit of money. Horrible. You need to be ashamed of yourself. You need to repent of your sins. 
Repent of your sins and redevote yourself back to God. You were bogus. You was out of pocket. And what were the consequences of it? You lost your husband. Your career is a failure. You probably got herpes too because he gave them to other girls. See what that do to you? See what happens when you dance with the devil? Bro, get out of here. It's your boy Battle Truth. Ain't my judgment that's a question. It's yours. Sparkle, you bogus. And I got to bang the gavel on you.